Okay, Swift tutorial on the uh, Netgear Push to TV HD receiver. On the back, HDMI cable and power cable both coming out. Obviously, plug them into the right places on your TV and in the power socket. Okay, in between those, you've got the the power button, the on-off button. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop it up here, and we're going to turn the power on. Get a red light on the front there. Okay, now what you guys are going to get when you first switch on is you're going to get this welcome screen. Okay, from Intel. Let's just turn the TV around a bit. Okay. You'll get a black screen like this for a while, and then eventually you'll get the connection screen. There we go, ready for connections. So as it says there, to get started, launch Intel Wide Eye on your computer. This is where you go to the San Diego. Okay, now, go into your settings. So most of you will be in here in the app tray. So go to S for settings. There we go. And we go to wireless display. The top one, turn wireless display on. Now when you first do this, it will start scanning and it will come up down here with D940, okay, but it won't say living room. Now it's already paired up with my TV and I've been trying for the life of me to uh, to reset the factory settings so I can show you guys again from scratch. But basically it won't let me, so I've had to move on from this point here. Now what you guys will get up on the screen there, as soon as you click on the living room it will come up on the screen asking you for a four digit to input a four digit pin on your device which you then input on the phone press OK and then it will start to pair then you'll get a box that pops up on the phone saying that a firmware update needs to be performed so you press OK and it performs the update on the phone it will come up on the TV screen saying that it's updating the adapter Wait for both to complete, and then once complete, the adapter will reset itself, and you'll go through the start process again, and you'll get back to this point, and that'll be where we're at now. Okay, so again, you click on living room. It says connecting. Comes up on the screen there this time an eight-digit code, so you input that on the device. So we've got four nine two zero. 6340 okay once you've got that input press ok starts connecting up on the TV that says connecting to Intel wide eye so security configuration successful connected to and then all of a sudden you got the screen up there okay now I've got auto rotate on this one so if I turn the phone on its side I get full screen up on the TV I'll quickly demonstrate a video for you. So if I press the home key, it takes me back to my home screen there. Okay, go into the menu, pull my app tray down, just at the top there, there we go. And we'll go down to play movies. We'll click on that one. And then press play in there. And here we go. Most animals, including Just goes to show, sky, no wires, ok so we're watching Avatar on the device and also up on the TV screen there as well. Ok, and that concludes. Cheers guys.